What is up guys, you got Not The Worst here, bringing you a little news update video, and today we're going to talk about something heavily, heavily requested, uh, the bans, in both unfair and fair bans that have been going on um, recently in the community starting uh, about a week and a half or so ago. Um, so if you're unfamiliar with what was going on, there's been rampant hacking, speed hacking in Shadow Arena, as well as the usual phishing bots and sort of things like that. From time to time, um, they usually have a GM that, you know, does a little bit of investigation on the side, and you'll see, you know, 20-something accounts banned, 50-something accounts banned for phish botting and things like that. We weren't really seeing bans uh, for a little while on the Shadow Arena, which was a huge problem uh, in general. It's pretty obvious to see people speed hacking. In Shadow Arena, I personally have played maybe three games of it myself, but I've watched plenty of videos um, and watched other streams of it, so I know that it's a very, very bad problem. So to combat this, uh, someone at some point decided let's have some kind of system that flags accounts that were uh, potentially hacking. And somewhere along the line, whatever that system was, however it was flagged, it did not work very well or worked too well, depending on how you look at it, because the problem we had was there was a whole bunch of accounts uh, that were then falsely flagged. So I'm going to read you this recent update post that came shortly after the ban wave. Actually, not so shortly after the ban wave, a few days after this happened. And there were tons of accounts. I believe something like 600 accounts initially um, that were banned, and then there were more coming each time. So let me read this, and then and then we'll talk about it a little more here. So uh, this announcements regarding the recent ban wave that took place on March 27th. After the ban wave was implemented, we found that some players have been wrongfully banned. The bans on the affected accounts have now been overturned. Okay, they're keeping that finite as if they every single account that was wrongfully banned was then overturned. But we'll talk about that in a minute. We'd like to offer our deepest apologies for making a critical mistake on our part. We're taking this issue very seriously and committed to taking measures to prevent such a mistake in the future. We'll also reassess our ban process and procedures to ensure it will not happen again. We're truly sorry that this occurred and would like to offer a sincere token of apology by compensating those who were wrongly affected by the bandwidth. The compensation will be sent out individually and we hope that your trust can be regained in due time. We ask for your patience as distributing compensation may take a little bit more time. Once again, we're deeply sorry for this mistake and ask for your kind understanding. Update on March 30th. With our recent attempts to combat the prevalent use of third-party software, we attempted to strengthen our criteria to provide a better environment for our adventurers. However, many accounts were incorrectly banned due to an error in the data. We unbanned the ones we initially verified on the 28th of March and have been reviewing the full data since then. After finishing the full review and data verification, we have taken the following steps. 1. Remove the permanent ban on the falsely flagged accounts that were newly discovered by our investigation. and 2. Apply a permanent ban to an additional 376 accounts. We understand that our mistakes has caused high amounts of stress and we sincerely apologize for this error. We promise to improve our internal procedures to prevent such uh, issues. Compensation to all wrongly affected adventurers will be sent shortly and, and again we are deeply sorry for the confusion and inconvenience that we have caused. So one, I'm going to say one thing here that I'm going to get slammed for in the comments but take it, it it's one little tidbit of what we're going to say, okay? One, okay, unpopular opinion. They are taking ownership in the sense of that they screwed up, okay? They say that a few times in here. That's not going to help people that were wrongfully banned and are extremely upset because that's pretty gross or egregious for that to have occurred in the first place, and I get that. They are admitting that they are at fault here and that they need improvement, okay? that That's the, all, the one tidbit I'm going to give them. On the other side, this to me, when you look at it, is pretty evident that whatever automated procedures they had, when they do the uh, you know the smaller band waves that they were doing, where it was like one GM, whatever they'd have, whatever gets flagged by the automated process, and then obviously somebody was actually reviewing the counts manually. This to me looks like they had some kind of setup that was automated, and again, I don't know the intricacies of how these things work in general, but obviously something was automated, flagged these accounts, and because it was a massive amount of accounts, mostly due to the banning and shadow, or excuse me, the hacking and shadow arena being so rampant. There was no check to it. So flagged accounts were just boom, you're banned, deal with it. And, and that was it. That's what this looks like to me. Um, so you end up with a bunch of falsely flagged accounts. Why? Because there was no manual review. It should be a process where account is flagged for X reason. And then somebody s sits and reviews what the data that you know flagged the account in the first place, looks at logs and checks out you know what exactly was happening here. Were they actually hacking or what the case may be. Now, in addition to that, um, there has been repeated evidence that there were a lot of accounts that joined um, Shadow Arena groups and someone in their group ended up hacking that they didn't know about. A lot of those accounts that grouped with them were also banned. From what I heard, it was a 48 hour ban for those accounts. So that's something to keep in mind. With that, there is a chance if you're grouping up with people you don't know in a random pickup group for Shadow Arena, if somebody else is hacking, there's, there's a possibility your account could be temporarily banned as well. 
Um, now let's talk about what's been happening since then. So this part is a little bit difficult to to dissect directly, right? So there, there's definitely, definitely still people that weren't hacking that are still banned right now and fighting to get through a review process or whatever they can to try and get their accounts back. The thing is, this last update here that of them talking about it was March 30th. I'm recording this April 5th, okay? So we're talking quite a while, almost an entire week since there was an update on this. Um, I would imagine there are individual cases uh, where they've continued overturning some accounts and we're not necessarily hearing about it from players because you're typically not going to get reports of players that are like, oh, hey, they fixed everything for me. What you're going to get is players complaining that um, they're still falsely uh, banned. Now, on the other side of that, there's going to be like for every one person that actually was genuinely falsely banned, there's going to be five times that number of people that were legitimately banned for hacking, but they're going to just continue to lie about it and jump on the bandwagon where there are people that are falsely flagged. And now you're going to have people that were on it, that were actually hacking, just jumping on that bandwagon and, and trying to ride that and say like, oh, I was falsely banned. I was falsely banned. I was falsely banned. Something to be interesting to note would see. I'm very curious whether there people that were hacking that were able, actually able to get their accounts unbanned due to all the falsely flagged accounts. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I'm sure that happened. There had to be some that slipped through the cracks for sure. The fact that when they reviewed to fix the falsely flagged accounts, they uh, uh, permanently banned an additional number of accounts kind of gives you some hope there. Obviously, this type of thing is a process. This is something um, that they have to fine tune and kind of figure out, which is what they're saying they're going to do. Uh, but I mean, I don't know what the compensation is. I can just tell you if I got banned, uh, over a week ago and then like a couple of days after that they give me this update and I know I wasn't hacking at all and my account was closed like uh, I mean I'm not just going to be upset I'm going to be livid um, I mean I, I do this YouTube channel I stream I mean this is you know something that I generate revenue from doing and this would like grossly affect um, you know that kind of thing uh, and that's just me personally aside from that people are just you know like playing this game and play even at half as much as I do is a lot of hours that you're putting into this money time everything spent in this and then to just be uh, wrongly banned for their checks and balances being off is not good it's so not good it's it's really bad it's i feel like if it's hard to tell the people that are telling the truth versus they are i feel like there needs to be a more sense of urgency about fixing accounts that were falsely flagged and in all honesty, if it was this large of a thing, there actually were, they don't li notice they don't list the number of falsely flagged accounts and that's on purpose. They don't want you to know how badly they screwed up with this. They just list the number of additional accounts that were banned. We have no idea how many were falsely flagged. So we don't have an idea of the percentage of the total amount that were first there or the amount plus the ones that were banned later. Um, and that's kind of them covering their butts on the, on the tail end of that. I'd be really interested to see how many were falsely flagged because honestly, if the percentage was like high enough, 20%, 25%, if one in four people were falsely flagged and uh, had their accounts banned, even, you know, for a few days, whatever it was, you probably roll back all the bans and then just go back and you need to manually review them. That that's what I think should have happened. It depending on the number, the problem is all we have is player data. They're not giving us the actual data of what turned up being falsely flagged. And we don't know how many people are still falsely banned. Um, for that amount and all we have is what people are going to say and unfortunately it's the internet and i just found out yesterday that people sometimes lie on the internet so we have to kind of take these things with a grain of salt we can't believe every little story about being falsely banned um there's going to be a ton that were rightfully so uh banned so uh, from my standpoint i really i know they won't don't get me wrong they're never going to i'd be really interested to see maybe even not a full number but a percentage of how many did they find so far that were falsely flagged out of the total amount which would give us idea i think the, the if that were the case, you just unban everybody and you actually need to manually review each individual account that was flagged as opposed to what we've done is just ban everybody that might be hacking and then we'll manually review everybody once they're banned to see if it was a it was a false issue or not. You're creating um, a lot of stress and uh, a lot of distrust in the community by just banning a bunch of people and then figuring out if they should have been banned afterwards versus what you should have been doing was you know, flag these accounts and before you ban them, let's go ahead and manually review them and make sure they need to be banned. I, I think that's probably just common sense or it seems like it to me, maybe not. Then again, I'm not sitting in their shoes where they had to try this and, and we don't know what the percentage was as far as um, as far as actual false bannings. Other thing I wanted to pull up just real quick, the, the Reddit, if you just type in ban for it lately, well, one, there's tons of memes about it, but you, you know, you can see um, yeah, exactly what we're talking about. Every hacker on Black Desert Online who got banned over the last three years. 
coming through the woodwork. But I mean, it's just over and over. People are upset. Um, there was a petition to start uh, some kind of um, legal action that that um, EU can do. I'm in the NA, so I'm not super familiar with it. Um, from what I understand, it was pulled off the Reddit. Uh, there's a procedure for doing it if you're falsely banned. Um, I don't know anything about that, so you can check into it. Um, people just talking about appeals and how it's not getting anywhere. Unanswered tickets. This is this is from a week ago, and that's one of the things I've been talking about. Wrongfully banned. I mean, it's just it's left and right. But again, you know, this is hard to gauge. You know, maybe one in five of these are legitimate, and and you're going to have a ton of people that were actually banned and just super super upset about it and just lying. So. Um, as far as recourse for this, I'm going to say a lot of people were DMing me asking if I can help them. I have no affiliation with uh, Cacao or Prolibus or anything like that. I cannot help you with your bans. There's nothing I can do for you about it. Send in a ticket, and unfortunately, the process seems to be you just got to deal with the wait time. Um, there's not a whole lot more you can do about it. Uh, I, I like to think that if you were not hacking, they will be able to look into the account however long that might take and unban the account if you weren't hacking. And it, it should be as simple as that. I don't know how long it's going to take because who knows how many accounts that they're having to go through right now. And again, that's why they should have reviewed the accounts manually before the ban. Uh, but yeah, just a, 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 just to let everyone know because I am getting messaged about it. I can't help you. There's nothing I can do about it for you. I'm sorry. I'm glad it didn't happen to me, which sounds somewhat selfish, but um, I, I can't help you. So <laughs> don't DM me asking. Uh, is there something I can do for you? There's nothing I can do, unfortunately. Just follow the process and go from there. So that's kind of it. Um, I didn't want to, I really was getting messages to make this kind of a hit piece uh, on the process. Um, what I think was kind of, uh, uh, not kind of, it was pretty bad the way it was handled in general. Um, all the way up until now, especially since there hasn't been much update other than individual updates, I'd be curious what the compensation for the people that were wrongly banned was um, and how heavy that was, especially depending on the number of days that they were banned. Uh, I'd be really interested to kind of see that and what they think was fair um, for closing their account falsely. And I'd be really curious what their process is moving forward beyond this. Uh, it's unlikely we'll find that out as that would actually just help hackers in general try to circumvent getting bans in the future. Anyways, um, that's it. Just wanted to kind of let everybody know what's been going on and shed some light on uh, something that was happening in pretty large in the community if you hadn't heard about it already. Uh, if you were banned and you think you weren't supposed to or, um, or you're banned and you were supposed to be and got unbanned, I mean, obviously, don't say what your account was, uh, but let me know in the comments, man. I want to hear from you guys. What what have you been personally experiencing? Um, the one thing I'm going to say is the if I mean, we want to talk about it in the comments, but I know there's going to be my friend said that or my friend this, this, not me, but my buddy, this, this and this. I don't want though. I'm not interested in that. Like that comment's going to mean nothing to me. I want to hear from you. What your personal experience that you can, without a doubt, you know, say this is exactly what I did and this is exactly what happened. I got my account unbanned or I did this and that or I've been hacking. I didn't even get um, banned the first time. Whatever their flagging system didn't even catch me and I'm still doing it today or you stopped doing it because you're scared, whatever the case may be. I'd be interested to hear from you guys uh, what's been going on. That's going to be it for this video. Make sure to like it. If you did enjoy this, subscribe to the channel if you are new here so you get updates when the videos go live. Um, we do multiple videos per week, news updates, patch notes. We do guides. Uh, we do some enhancing on live stream every weekend, 7 p.m. Eastern time and 1 p.m. Eastern on Sundays. So if you want to check that out, a link to the Twitch page is in the description below. You can head on over there and drop a follow if you want to get a notification for when we go live. Uh, doing that is a pretty good time just sort of hanging out and, uh, and chilling with that. That's going to be it for this video. Everybody, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Baby.